वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल लर्न सम अरे प्रोग्राम टू प्रिंट ओनली ईवन एलमेंट फ्रम एन अरे टू प्रिंट समन एलमेंट अंड आड एलमेंट टू प्रिंट दि कौंट आफ ईवन अंड आड एलमेंट टू प्रिंट स्मालेस्ट नंबर अंड लारजस्ट नंबर फ्रम एन अरे लेट क्रियेट प्रोग्राम print even import java dot io dot star class print even let me declare an array integer type name of the array arr of is equal to new int of i will give size as 10 from the user to take 10 elements i will give a for loop int i is equal to 0 i is lesser than we can say arr dot length then i plus plus so arr of i is equal to integer dot parse int of br dot read line of then we terminate this so now we have taken input for that array so that is 10 elements we have taken now let us give a line outside the loop saying following our even elements so system dot out dot print line of so now we have to check the elements one by one whether the element is even or not to access each element again we will give a for loop let us copy the same for loop we already know how to find even numbers if the number is divisible by 2 that is without remainder then we say the number is even number so to get the remainder we will use percentage symbol that is modulus let us give that in the condition arr of i modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 so it uh, divides by 2 and gets the remainder if remainder is 0 then what we will do we will print the element so system dot out dot print line of we say a of sorry a r r of i terminate if we need the elements to be printed in the same line we can cancel this and then we can add one comma or space with this so i will add one space here so let us compile this no syntax error 
so enter 10 elements 45 3 7 84 96 12 15 17 21 18 so we can see here only even numbers are printed now program to get the sum of even number and sum of odd number so i will give sum even odd as a class name So before this, I will import Java dot IO dot star. Rest of the code I will copy from the previous program. So even we can copy from here to here. We don't need this line. Let us delete this. So, after entering all the numbers, we will again have a for loop. If it is even number, we will add it to even sum. So, for that we need a variable. Even for odd uh, sum, we need a variable. So, let us give int sum of even equal to 0 initially, then sum of odd also 0 initially. Now we have already checked whether it is even or not. If it is even, we will add with this sum of even. So, se equal to se plus arr of i. Otherwise, we can also give plus equal to here. Plus equal to and then else otherwise sum of odd plus equal to arr of i so then we close this for loop see if it is true that is even number then it will add with the sum of even otherwise it should be odd number automatically it will add with this variable. So, now we have to print the sum of even and sum of odd. Sum of even numbers from given array plus s e so here odd number so this will be s o now we will close the method and then class just compile this no syntax error to check the right result i will give the sequence of number just I will give 1, 2, 3 only. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, even numbers total is 30 and odd numbers total is 25. You can check. Next, we will learn counting number of even elements and number of odd elements. So, count even odd i give i will copy whole program from the previous program here instead of taking the sum of even numbers and sum of odd numbers just we are going to count so let us change the variable name count even number then count 
odd number. So initially the count is 0 for both. So if this is true, then what we will do? We will just increase the count of even number CE plus plus. Else what we will do? We will increase the count of odd number CO plus plus. So now we are going to print number of even numbers of given array that is CO sorry CE here number of odd numbers of given array that is CO. Let us change the class name and you count. Compile this, no syntax error. Let us run this. Any number let us give 11, 15, 18, 20, 48, 65, 71, 03, minus 11, minus 32. Let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are odd numbers. So remaining 4 will be even numbers. Next program to find the smallest and largest element of that array. I will copy again the code from the previous one. I will copy until this. I will change the class name. Largest, smallest. Let us have double type of array. So I will change this double again here also double so instead of counting here i will have the smallest element and the largest element so again i will change even the data type of the smallest also will be smallest or largest also will be double type itself so double instead of ce largest and then here smallest So we cannot initiate as 0 in case the user gives negative numbers so it cannot be 0. So I will take a element from array itself. So let us take just first element itself this ARR of 0 that is index same like that smallest also let us take first elements itself ARR of 0. Now, I will give the condition to find the largest element of that array. It takes all the element of that array that is ARR of i and then if it is greater than largest. Sometimes it is also possible to be same number. So, we will give greater than or equal to also. So, if this is true, I will assign the element to the variable largest. So, largest is equal to ARR of i. Now, I close the for loop. So, now I will search for smallest one. So, again we will have the same loop. Now, we are going to find the smallest one. So, we will have lesser than or equal to smallest. So if it is true, the element will go to smallest.
now let us print the largest and smallest elements so i copy this largest element is plus largest so here smallest element is smallest let us close the method close the class compile this uh, we have done a mistake here while typing the variable it should be capital l here also should be capital l let us check here we have given capital so here also should be capital so we should be very careful while writing this then okay so here we have given double but uh, in the previous program it was integer so let us change this double here also double uh, any other error let us compile and check no syntax error now so enter 10 elements 31.01 minus Point four. So we can see here the largest number which I have given at the last, the least number is minus sixty three point one two. So it is right. Dear students, I hope it was very clear to you how to do all these four programs. These are only just ideas. You can create your own programs. Keep watching my videos, learn more. Thank you students.